Hey there, so wanted to make a quick video about this uh, DeWalt uh, tough system um, container setup that I put into my uh, bike trailer here. And uh, saw a couple of videos on the web that gave me the inspiration and a little bit of the how-to. So I just wanted to follow up with my own as far as how it worked out. Um, worked out really good. This stuff uh, seems like it's built pretty well. Uh, set up so that you can remove the whole um, set of containers and uh, basically fold the rack flat. So if you're not familiar, these little things kind of tip out and you can remove the, the boxes and it works for the, the trays and these drawers and there's a toolbox down on the bottom. Uh, the toolbox isn't even touching the, the floor. Um, it's just uh, mounted on the rack. So I'm going to uh, undo these things and show you a little bit more about the rack itself that I built because that's kind of the more interesting part. Okay, so when you uh, when you purchase these, you can basically buy these uh, um, supports as a two pack. Um, I think they're like twenty bucks, something like that, twenty five bucks maybe. So not terribly cheap, but um, for what you get for what they do, I think it's worth it. Um, and uh, the rack itself I made. So the rack is uh, one inch uh, aluminum and it is specifically radius corners. And the reason you want the radius is because that is what fits well into the, um, uh, these, these uh, brackets are kind of rounded. So they work pretty well with this one inch radius. Uh, and uh, so anyway, I just bought a few lengths, cut it to the right you know, size. I went into three studs into my uh, trailer walls. You can see the studs are up there. Um, and, uh, and then basically with the one inch backer, giving it space, that's enough room to put these on, um, uh, you know, while it's mounted. So I can remove this, I can pull it out and I can, I can reposition it. Um, now the cool thing about this and the reason that this system makes sense to me is that um, you can see these fold flat. So basically, if I have a need to carry something big, maybe my bike is carrying somebody's bike and it's too big. So the whole thing kind of folds flat and it's only a couple inches off the wall at that point. So it gives me some flexibility. And then of course, uh, if I you know, need to move things around, I can. And uh, here, I'll take a minute and see if I can't put this back up here. Let's just see here. So I just got it misaligned because I'm only using one hand, but there you go. You can see it's on there. It's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So anyway, lots of flexibility. In it. So the trick with the um, supports here, I don't have one that's unmounted, otherwise I would show you that. But basically in the back here, there's a little peg that fits into holes. And as I run my finger up here, I can feel I drilled basically one hole every inch all up and down there um, using a press. It worked out pretty fast. It, it's aluminum, so it cuts really fast. Um, and, uh, and those pegs allow me to kind of put the, um, put the uh, supports wherever I need to in one inch increments, which I think is what comes on the parts that you might buy from them that are kind of expensive. Uh, the only other thing I would mention just for, if it, if it helps you is these are 20 inches apart from here to there, to the outside, the verticals are 20 inches apart. That seems to be just the right uh, measurement for them to fit nicely, not too tight, but they, they latch in really good. So the other thing I wanted to show you here was uh, at the very bottom, just how I did the feet, because people were asking about about the feet. So they're actually resting on the ground or on the uh, on the floor. It's a wood floor with that garage, garage floor epoxy. It's pretty good stuff, actually. It's pretty tough. Um, and uh, I just welded a little uh, little cap on there. And uh, actually this one, I put a little felt foot underneath it just because it was on the metal and I didn't want squeaking. Um, so yeah, that's it. Pretty simple stuff. And of course with these toolboxes, you got a few different models. This one is just a box. It's got a tray in it. And uh, you know, pretty basic, basic toolbox. Seems pretty well built though. Um, I got this little container it fits perfectly in that tray for all my little sockets and hex drivers. And uh, anyway, so that's that. Um, in a second, I'll show you the drawers because they're pretty cool too. So finally, I did want to show you this drawer. Um, so this is 
the uh, two drawer version. I haven't been able to see it in any stores, but it is available online. Um, so it's actually probably my favorite um, element of this set because it is a, a box. It's got a handle on the top when you pull it out, um, but for the most part, it can just stay right here and it just provides a really great positive latched uh, storage. You can see I've got some you know, spares and some electrical bits in here. That works well. There's a nice catch on it. You can't just slam it shut. You kind of have to like latch it. Um, it's a little bit stiff. Maybe it's the uh, rubber weather stripping around here, but you know, it does pretty good for just keeping stuff really easy to, easy to, easy to grab. So that was just a quick look at this DeWalt Tough System box slash shelving gear that I'm using here. I hope it was helpful. Have a great one.